Coach, yeah, see men's today. What do you first? What did you think of the game overall? Your thoughts on the game, and how do you look to move forward from this on to next season? Um, I think I think the best way to move on for this is 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 pretend that we didn't. It's just take it out of my mind, make it out of our minds. Um, for whatever reason, I mean, we were we were hurt. We were hurt in our minds. We were hurt in numbers, and we played like we could care less. We should have just taken it as a forfeit. I thought that they they, they came out to play, and I and I, I saw that when they played Louisville. I saw that when they played North Carolina. Um, so the kind of rebounding, 43 to 26, that will tell you a lot, right there. Um, and then the kind of points who the people they showed up. Faith Randolph, right, am I surprised? No, because those are the numbers she's been putting up all along. And um, number 23, both of them. Um, but you know, sadly enough, that's been our MO too often this year. Um, we tried and it, it wasn't there, you know, and it started off that way and it got from bad to worse. Uh, there were some bright spots, I thought, with some people that was more importantly, it was effort on the part of the other people. And, you know, as far as I'm concerned, when you give a great effort, then I can appreciate that. When you have behind go at it, I'm not feeling good about it. Um, last game, Rich Holiday led the team with 22 points. Uh, today, she like, went three for four on the inside, only got eight points. Uh, was it a specific game plan for not getting as many touches as last time, or was it a, an effect? Yeah, that that wasn't it. I thought that they doubled down. They, they, they came to her much quicker. They obviously saw her game. But the problem is, is that then we were making a pass to the outside, and uh, we decided to go ahead and take jumpers, and we shot three for 15. You know, instead of attacking and getting to the rim, uh, it's not like that's not what we wanted, but that's what happened. So, um, no, they denied Rachel, but we had to still get to the rim, and uh, it didn't happen. Um, Julia, um, the other day you went nine for ten from the free throw line. Today, uh, well, four, four, yeah, four for eleven. Um, what can you say about that? Was it mental? Was it something you're doing? By the way you're shooting, what do you think? I think it's all mental. I started to think about it too much. So. Um, this is your last game. You know, you're, obviously, you're senior. Uh, what do you? What are your plans for the future? Are you entering the, the WNBA draft? Yeah, I hope I can continue to play. Hope I have opportunity to continue to play. Uh, You've been playing with with Kalia and Rachel for your years here in Tyler. Mm -hmm. What do you think it's going to be like next year, preparing for next year and next year, not having them with you? Um, it's definitely going to be different, but um, we got to do what we got to do to you know be successful next year. It's gonna, we're going to miss them, but um, we're going to step up and do what we have to do. So do you see yourself in, in more of like a leadership role next year, coming back as a as as leading scorer, coming back? Definitely. Um, like Coach told me earlier, we got to set a different culture, and that's what we're going to do next year. Tyler, Tyler has, has begun to establish that this year anyway. You know, and um, just her temperament is not going to allow this kind of thing to happen. So we, we're going to step it up. You're going to see a different culture. You'll see a lot of things different real soon.